timer. With the timer, the on-off times can be preset exactly as required. The settings are programmed directly into the boiler, with no need to purchase any further controls. The display shows the daily and weekly program as it has been set. The electronic control enables the boiler to be turned on and off at 15 minute intervals, any time of the day, every day of the week, and in two different zones. Programming can be enabled or disabled simply by pressing the button with the clock icon. Acting as a heating system divided into two zones, such as the first and second floor of a building, the new Ariston boiler can be programmed to operate independently for each zone, without the need for any additional devices. Multi-zone programming offers absolute comfort customization. This means, for example, that the boiler can be set at heat zone 1 from Monday to Friday from 6 to 9 o'clock in the morning and from 6 to 10 o'clock in the evening. Zone 2 can be programmed independently from Zone 1. For example, it may be decided to turn on the boiler on Saturday and Sunday from 10.15 in the morning until 7.45 in the evening. For each zone, the user also has three preset programs that can be customised with the greatest of ease. Info function. The new info function communicates with the user, giving full information about the operation and status of the boiler. The data displayed keeps the end user informed about the state of the appliance, ensuring correct use of the boiler. Just press the info key to activate the function. Each time the key is pressed, new and important information about the correct use of the boiler will appear on the display. Let's work through the order in which the information is displayed. The time of day is shown first. Next is the water pressure in the heating system. If it is connected, the temperature measured by the outdoor sensor is then shown. This is followed by the indoor temperature. Then comes the flow rate of hot water measured in litres per minute. If we press the info key again, the water temperature setting in the heating circuit is shown. Then comes the temperature setting for the hot water. Pressed again, the display will show us the number of months before the next scheduled maintenance. The following screen indicates the telephone number and the name of the service centre to be contacted for maintenance. Then the boiler tells us if the comfort function has been turned on and what temperature the domestic hot water has been set to. By pressing the key again we can see if the auto function has been turned on and what external devices are linked up for temperature control. Finally, we can see the temperature of the water in the cylinder, connected to the solar panels. Self-check function. The new Ariston boiler monitors its own functions and operation status by means of a latest generation self-check system. The display clearly indicates any anomalies and suggests what to do in the simplest terms. It also helps the service engineer to find the cause of the fault. The display shows an error code, together with an explanation of the type of fault. The error codes are divided into six categories. Each code consists of three numbers. The first one indicates the error category. Together with the error code, the display also gives a brief description of the fault. Let's see how the boiler reacts in the case of an error that can be reset. For example, when the safety thermostat switches the system off. 
this thermostat intervenes when the temperature of the heating water reaches 105 degrees Celsius to make sure that no damage is caused to any part of the boiler. The panel shows the error code, in this case the number 101. This number and the word reset flash alternately. The display also gives a description of the problem, in this case using the word overheat. When the reset button is pressed, the boiler returns to normal operation and the standard display appears once again. Let's now have a look at an error that cannot be reset, such as a malfunction of the central heating probe. The panel shows the error code, in this case the number 110, which flashes alternately with a spanner symbol. The display gives a description of the problem, showing that the heating probe is defective. In this case, the error cannot be reset and technical assistance is required. When the fault has been repaired, the boiler will return to normal operation.